Um, questions? Like, well, they kept the focus again, I guess. Yeah, thank you. It was a little tricky with the wind. Uh, I played this guy before last, the end of last year, and uh, uh, in, indoors that I lost to him. So, you know, for me to come out today and win was, uh, you know, I was happy about that. You never seem to be worried. It, it, to me, it seemed like you always knew that he really didn't have anything to hurt you out there on the clay. That you you are always going to be in every game, regardless if you're down love 40 or love 30. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Your confidence in that match. Well, yeah, I, I felt um, you know our, our, our game styles. Um, you know, I, I think on the big points, I played a little bit better, a little bit more percentage than he does. He kind of you know he's, plays like a typical Russian. You know, they play pretty flat and go for broke on big points. And I felt like if I could just you know get ahead in the in the point that I would I would be okay. On the uh, mini controversy on uh, he thought he'd come back and you know, to deuce, but he hit a uh, the serve is long. I mean in your, in your mind the serve is long and that's what the umpire wrote? Yeah, I mean it's clay. <laughs> the, the, the ball it's shows the mark, there's no others. But the lines person missed the call when the umpire overrolled it. I had my vision was blocked, I just walked up to LA. Yeah, the ball was out and I just, at the mark, it was a close call, a close serve, and it was out. So. But the umpire overruled in the middle of the point. No, it was a serve, and I hit the return, and I missed the return. Right, yeah. But you go to see the mark, and it was out. So you know you're allowed one shot on play usually to. You know. Were you encouraged by the statement from the ITF? Does I feel like you're getting a, you're going to get today in court? I'm sorry. Said, were you encouraged by what the ITF said about your situation? You feel you're going to get a fair hearing from them? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, you know, we'll go to if it, if it goes to the, the you know with, with the investigation and it goes the proper way. You know, I'll state my case and my story, and and uh, and I'm you know it's it's it's, it's their decision. Are they giving you any idea of the timetable? No, uh, that uh, I'm not sure. What do you think is reasonable? I, mean, I know you <laughs> like out of my control. You'd like no tomorrow, probably. But, uh, yeah, look, you know, at this stage, you know, I, I've I've already said in my my press statement, and I'm not going to comment any further. Um, you know, I I'll, I'll go to the court, I'll do what they say, I'll uh, with my lawyer, and and whatever happens is out of my control. I'm just doing the things that I can't control right now, and that's been playing tennis, working every day trying to further my career. Uh, relative to how you played two years ago and last year, at a pretty high level, where are you right now at this stage of this time? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, as, since I started working in you know November, December, in the off season, or sorry, yeah, uh, the last few months with Kanyas and, and his group, I feel like I'm a completely different player. Um, how so, how so? Uh, just, I mean, I, I feel, you know, I've, I've my, Practices have gone to another level. I'm working, you know, six hours a day with these guys and, and really training as hard as I've ever trained. Um, you know, I feel like uh, on the other end, you know, I know that this is. I'm, I'm trying to focus everything in my career towards it, to doing, you know, the right things. You know, having a team around me, the right people that I trust, which is a big thing. And uh, the biggest thing is just believing in myself. When did you officially forge that relationship? Um. You know, towards the end of, uh, after the US Open, we were practicing quite a bit. He was living in Miami, and, uh, you know, he was telling me he was trying to start an academy, and, and uh, in the off season, you know, it was, it was great, because it's in Miami, and I, I could be home. And, uh, you know, we, we, we said, okay, well, we'll give it a few weeks to try and, and, and see how it goes, and I, we both enjoy working together, and I feel like it can be a great partnership there. Uh, who, who else is in the group? Uh, I mean, he's got about, I think, six uh, permanent juniors right now that stay in practice. And uh, and then he's also got Paul Captaville, who's here, who we're traveling together. He's uh, you know, also a very good uh, Chilean player. Um, Paul's here with you, but obviously uh, Guillermo isn't. He's yes. not going to travel with you necessarily? You would for a big tournament, maybe? Um, yeah, I mean, right now his first focus is, is getting his uh, academy started, as well as, you know, he just, 
he's just been traveling for 12 years, you know, the guy needs some time to be home and uh, enjoy that. And then, uh, yeah, you know, he said when he can, some of the bigger tournaments, uh, he would like to to come and travel with, with us and, you know, looking forward to it. Where, where specifically are you based? Uh, I live in Fort Lauderdale, but we practice uh, near Key Biscayne, where the Crandon Park, where the oh, tournament's held. So you actually practice with Sony? Yeah. It's on the, on the yeah. Either there or at Brickle. Uh, you know, as part as Conda, there's some courts and stuff like that. So, just a point of reference. When was the last time, or, or have you been tested? Sorry. Were you, were you, were you tested? I was tested twice in Australia. In Rift Australia. And and uh, just Australian Open. Uh, just uh, any blood? No. Okay. Have, matter, you, have you ever been? It's a routine matter of course you have tested. Yeah. Unrelated yes. to the other incident. I, mean, was, I assume. Yeah. You just know you got tested twice. Yes. But you, have you ever had a blood test? They've, have they ever tested you for that? Or is it just... I don't know if they do that. I don't know. Okay. Just curious. Um, one of the things, going back to the match today, um, it seems like his style of play fits you very well. We were talking about your aggression. You, you seem pretty much in control. He, he never seem to run around he doesn't run around his backhand much he likes to hit that which really allowed you to, to open up the court did you is that one of the things you were trying to do uh yeah i mean um the biggest things for me were just trying to get the ball out of his strike zone you know he's a pretty clean hitter of the ball and uh, he's not a powerful guy but you know he can use your power so i was trying to not let him you know make him create his own power get the ball out of his own you know use uh my movement against his and make it a physical match and I thought I did a pretty good job of that. Yeah. Yeah. So you like your chances when you're having to draw? As far as clay court expert goes, you're kind of right there at the top. Yeah, you know, I've, I've put a lot of work and, and uh, you know, I like coming to this tournament and uh, I'm just going to give it my best. So you feel like sitting here today you're a much better player than you were a year ago or, or maybe not much better but a better tennis player, better clay court player? Oh, I, uh, 100% I'm a better player uh, in all aspects, you know, um, physically, mentally, uh, in, every, in every way I feel, uh, you know, better. Maybe my ranking is still the same, but, uh, you know, that's out of my control right now. But, you know, the big thing is, you know, if we keep doing the right things and I'll have my results.